in the bedroom whether you are taking a shower and she's looking at you and you are naked and she knows that you are known everywhere there's nothing as painful as that to a wife look at you Do you know that cheating your wife is more painful to her than even your death? You don't want to talk to me today. Okay. <laughs> You don't realize how painful it is. When your wife knows that you are going out there with another wife, another person, another woman. Because that's betrayal. The day she gets to know that, don't expect to see the same person again. Everything about her changes. Because I've realized that you don't even know what you're doing. You don't even know the kind of wounds that you are inflicting on your partner. After doing that, after cheating her, and you begin to complain about food, you begin to complain about cleaning the house. To her, that's nonsense. I've lost the most important thing in my life. Infidelity, listen to me, that's a serious demon. When you begin to have romantic experiences outside of your marriage, and then your wife now knows that I'm not the only wife. I'm not the only woman in this man's life. And when she gets to know that, don't expect her to behave like a wife. She has to recover from that first. Before we start talking about Sadza, she has lost the most important person in her life. He is gone. Have you ever imagined, even yourself, most of the guys that are doing that cheating their wives, even if they dream, of their wives cheating on them if, if, even if it is a dream <laughs> the atmosphere changes a mere dream becomes a painful experience to you and yet you are doing it live do you know, do you know that I've realized that even couples after separating, most husbands, they would want to marry as soon as they've separated. But from that other side, he's still monitoring his wife. He doesn't want her to get married. Look at how stupid we are, stupid. Even after divorcing her, you still don't want her to get married. 
It's a spirit of abuse. You still, you just want to see her cry. Do you know that sometimes you become too evil more than the devil himself to a point where you know, see, you become more evil than the devil himself. You get to a point where by the devil looks at you and says, my election is not a good thing. You are not a good thing. That the devil can actually begin to fear for his throne. You are betraying the person that you are supposed to be protecting. It's, imagine your wife going out with another man and you get to know it. Can you imagine? You will kill somebody. Panofamunu. You will kill a person. Panofamunu. It will be genocide, xenophobia, it will be everything. But now, since we are talking about abuse, what are you abusing? You are abusing the trust that was given to you. Now, let me tell you why most people cheat. Do you want to know why people are cheating each other? We talk about why and we talk about how you can recover from those attacks, from those wounds. Okay. If the devil wants you to cheat your partner, he will not allow you to cheat before you find reasons why you are cheating. There has to be some reasons, whether they are useless reasons, whether there are silly reasons, but the devil is going to help you identify some reasons. You have to find reasons why you should start cheating your wife. <laughs> Most men that are cheating their wives, it was so said one day we had decided to watch a certain Christian channel myself and my wife and there was a prophet there who was prophesying to a certain gentleman and then as he was prophesying to this guy he was talking about he wanted to almost like talk about infidelity and that prophet said that's why that's the reason why your wife is crying it is because you have cheated her. You have an affair. And the guy looked as if he was shocked. And he started shaking his head. He said, I've never done that. And then the prophet was so angry. And he said to the rest of the people, listen to what this guy is saying. He's refusing. He's, He's trying, trying to deny what I'm saying. If you are a man, all of you, if as long as you are a man, you can never say you've never done it. Now he's now giving the same prophecy to every man. He's saying, if you, as long as you are a man, you can never say you've never done it. He's saying, if you, as long as you are a man, you can never say you've never done it. He's saying, if you, as long as you are a man, you can never say you've never done it. I said, 
in Mama said, let's change this channel. What, what sort of a prophet is this one? How can you say a statement like that? Being a prophet and you say every man is doing it. Uh, including yourself. You see, every person that is cheating, he thinks everyone is doing it. That is why they don't make efforts to stop it. You think everyone is doing it? No. Make efforts to stop it. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to someone here? What makes a person even think of going out? Number one, it is an issue of percentages. There is a percentage that you are looking for. Listen to me. <laughs> there is something that you are trying to receive from your husband or from your wife at 100% red. Whether it is love, whether it is care, whether it is protection, whether whatever it is. If sexually you are not satisfied, now you look at percentages wait, wait, and you are saying I'm only getting 70% from my wife or from my husband. And then the enemy is going to advise you to go out there and get the missing 30%. So that you get your 100%. <laughs> That's the reason why sometimes, even if you look at your husband, you look at yourself, you are like the best wife that any husband can ever have. Everything that is needed on a woman is on you. And you are left wondering, so what is the reason why he chose to leave me for another wife, another woman? And some of you actually to a certain level, you might even want to visit that, that, that strange woman to see what's so unique about her. And then to your amazement, you look at her, you are much better than her. Why? Because maybe the husband is no longer looking for the beauty. He's just looking for the 30%, no matter the container. Uh, 